James, thank you. Now a closer look at the business of renewable energy, one industry that's actually growing in this economy. In Colorado, the state says clean energy jobs increased twice as fast as other jobs from 1998 to 2007. The industry says solar energy provides electricity and hot water to more than 100,000 homes and businesses across the country. And there are enough plants in development to power about 2.5 million homes in just the next few years. Alicia Acuna with the news. She's live inside a solar energy company in Thornton, Colorado, which is about 10 miles north of Denver. Alicia, how does all that translate into jobs exactly? Uh, well, Trace, someone has to make the products that actually draw power from the sun. I'm standing in a 140,000 square foot production facility uh, that belongs to Ascent Solar. Now, this company makes these photovoltaic films. What essentially they do is they replace uh, those big, gigantic, heavy glass solar panels we see. And look, what they can do, they can move around, they can sort of line along any kind of product. They can be on cars and curtains, on rooftops, anywhere. And they they need people actually to produce this stuff and just in this place alone they're going to be hiring about 200 people over the next year trace so what's the deal in the rocky mountains i mean why is this sector growing so much in colorado compared to other states well, we're not just lucky here in Colorado. Uh, the governor, Bill Ritter, here in Colorado has made a very aggressive effort toward attracting energy jobs to this state. It was part of his platform when he was running for office here, and they've really gone out of their way to work with NREL, the National Renewable Energy Lab that is located here out of the Department of Energy, to help harness some of the natural resources here. A lot of sun and a lot of wind. Trace? I guess the question is how you get your foot in the door, Alicia. I mean, do you have to major in some kind of alternative energy? Right. This all looks a little intimidating and highly technological, and it is. However, they are hiring people of all educational levels. They're looking for folks with high school diplomas all the way up to PhDs, chemical engineers, uh, experts in physics, that sort of thing. You really don't need to be an expert specifically if you are trainable and if you are willing. Trace? Alicia Cunha, live for us tonight in Thornton, Colorado. Alicia, thank you.